नमस्कार वाइस चांसलर के के हैंडिक स्टेट ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र प्रसाद जी चीफ गेस्ट फॉर्मर चेयरमैन ऑफ यूपीएससी प्रोफेसर डीपी अग्रवाल जी esteemed members of the board of management and academic council of the university registrar deans directors of schools faculty members and the officers invited guests members from the media ladies and gentlemen it gives me much pleasure to be here and address you all on the occasion of the fifth convocation of kk handy state open university i am particularly delighted that for the first time the university has been able to organize the convocation in its uh, own campus and clearly this marks a distinct uh, accomplishment uh, of all the stakeholders dear learners convocation is a very social special moment of your life it embodies your achievement that you have earned through years of your hard work and dedication it is an occasion of celebration as well as of looking ahead for making meaningful contribution to the society i congratulate all the graduating students recipients of the degrees diplomas and medals on your well deserved attainments i also congratulate the parents and the teachers who have tried hard for your successes your success will make them fulfilled and contented it is indeed satisfying to see that kk handy state open university has been able to make steady and visible progress during the last 17 years i am particularly glad to learn about the relentless efforts of the university is making toward realizing its vision of providing quality education beyond all the barriers and reaching the unreached this is what an open university should be doing in empowering people thereby contributing to build a truly inclusive society friends india is gearing up for a massive restructuring of its education system with the roll out of national education policy 2020 no doubt the transformation as we did will offer opportunities as well as challenges it's a high time that the institutions of uh, higher education get ready to face and overcome the challenges and make a use of new opportunities emerging for this uh, they have to be responsible and uh, proactive i am very pleased to know that kk handy state open university has taken some very effective and well thought out initiative in taking the advantages of this flexible multidisciplinary and innovative approach that the nep 2020 has advocated i am told that the university has already adopted the ugc's credit framework for four year undergraduate programs and will be in a position to offer this program from april 2023 onwards as per the nep 2020 the university has already introduced literal entry and exit in all academic programs and started registering the learners in the academic bank of credit for seamless transfer of credit these steps will provide the learners of the university wider choices over various courses and programs prompting multidisciplinary teaching and learning i have also been informed that the university is successfully providing academic programs through online mode for the benefit of the learners 
in the swim platform it is also heartening to learn that the university is uh, taking special efforts to promote and encourage dual degree programs as per the requirement of NEP 2020 all these indicate the responsive and proactive initiatives of the university most importantly these initiatives will ultimately benefit the aspiring learners and contribute to usher in the qualitative transformation in the state's higher education sector as per the vision of the NEP 2020 i commend the university for all these uh, initiatives friends NEP 2020 targets uh, at ambitious goal of uh, doubling the gross enrollment ratio in the higher education in the country it pro proposes to achieve 50% ger in the higher education in the country by the year 2035 this is an overwhelming task to raise the ger to 50% from the current level of 27.1% assam ger in higher education currently stands at 17.3% naturally all states including assam which have less ger compared to the national level have to make substantial progress if the country has to achieve this goal i believe open and distant learning institutions have an enormously crucial role in increasing the ger in the country and turning this goal into a reality i am extremely happy to know that the university's enrollment has more than doubled this time reaching close to 35000 compared to the last year's enrollment of 14000 I am also informed that the university has started enrollment for the January cycle this year. I applaud the effort and initiatives that undertaken by the university to increase the enrollment and improve the GER in the state. It must however be remembered that while making the quantitative expansion and increasing the enrollment overall quality of education should not be compromised at any cost in fact nep 2020 specifically emphasizes on the quality improvement and assurance while encouraging enhanced access and increased enrollment it underlines the necessity of timely and proper accreditation of institutions programs and courses in the ensuring quality it is a matter of great satisfaction that kk handy state open university is only of the very few open universities of the country successfully completing assessment and accreditation of nep i congratulate the university on this important accomplishment dear learners convocation is primarily about you and your achievements i once again congratulate all of you on formally graduating today after successful completion of your studies but it has also entrusted upon you the most challenging responsibility of continuing in the path of knowledge and selflessly contributing to the progress of the nation as a whole therefore i urge upon you to be more focused on your future goals resolute with the ideas and committed to your vision of life try to use the knowledge you have acquired to make a marked difference to the lives of the people around you i pray that all of you will be able to attract abundant blessings from the almighty drive great success in your professional and personal life and become the torch bearers in taking the state and nation forward adhering to the fundamental values of love 
compassion, justice, and selfless service. Lead the world, be the change, and make Assam and India proud. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you so much.